Worst client is updated to 1.21.3 and today I'm showing you exactly how to get it. So to get it, you want to head over to their official website, worstclient.net, which is going to be linked down in the description below to get there actually with my Discord server, and I greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on their website here, you want to scroll down until you find the Downloads tab, and then you want to look for 1.21.3+. Then... You want to click on this black button over here and that's automatically going to download Worst Client for you. And very importantly, you also want to click on this white button next to it. That's going to download the Fabric API, which you also need for this client. So judging by the fact that you need to download the Fabric API, you could probably already guess that you also need the Fabric Loader for 1.21.3 installed. If you don't have this yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, now as you can see, I have the Fabric API as well as Worst Client in my downloads. And so I will hit Windows and R at the same time, and then in the box that pops up, you want to type in App Data. Just like that. Then hit Enter or click on OK, and this area should pop up. You then want to go into the folder called Roaming.Minecraft and scroll down until you find the Mods folder. Inside of the mods folder, you want to drag the Fabric API as well as Worst Client, just like this. And once you've done that, you're good. You can close up both of these, open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch Fabric for 1.21.3. After, of course, understanding the risks of playing modded Minecraft. Now, as you can see, I have loaded up Minecraft 1.21.3 Fabric, which is great. And I'll just head into a single player world real quick and show you exactly how to use this. Or really, I'm just going to be showing you how to get started. If you want the full in-depth tutorial, then I will link that down in the description below. And I have no idea why I'm so small right now. That is a little better. Anyways, to use this client, you simply want to press on right shift, and that is going to open up this clicked UI area. This contains all the utilities that Worst Client has. To use them, simply click on them to turn them on, and click on them once again to turn them off. You'll get a brief description when you hover above them, which is pretty useful, and you can actually click on this green arrow, and that is going to give you a customization menu for that specific utility. As you can see, every single utility has its own specific customization menu. One really useful thing almost all the customization menus allow you to do is set a keybind through this thing right over here. And really, that's mainly what this clicked UI area is. This client should be pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to use as well. Anyways, if you scroll down a little, you see it's ordered by alphabet, except it starts again, but then with utilities that start with a dot. The ones that start with a dot are all the commands that this client supports, because Worst Client actually supports commands. You can type dot help in chat, and that is going to give you, well, the first page of a list of all of the commands that this client has, right? You can see a few of them over here, opening up the click GUI area again, and then heading over to the commands. You can just Go into their menu, and then you'll get a full description of exactly what the command does, as well as exactly how to use it, which is, of course, really useful. Anyways, scrolling down even further to the very bottom, it's going to start again by alphabet, and as you can see, there's a few more general-ish utilities here, including stuff like the logo, which will often show up right over here, stuff like the zoom, as well as the tab GUI, which is pretty interesting, and I'll show you that right now. To enable the tab GUI, you simply want to go to its status and make sure that's set to enabled. You can see it in the top left of my screen, and I can access it while moving. It works exactly like the click GUI area I just showed you guys, except you can navigate it with the arrow keys on your keyboard. So, for example, also just while doing other things. Some people prefer this, others don't. Anyways, one other thing, if you don't like this click GUI and also don't like the tab GUI, you can press the right hand control button and that is going to bring you the slightly more classic click GUI layout. As you can see, these are all sorted by category, it's all vertical. And for the rest, this should work in the exact same way. 
Anyways, finally, in the pause menu over here, we have this worst options area where you can find the keybinds, x-ray, as well as zoom managers together with some other general utilities. Anyways, for the rest, basically, that was that. Remember, the full in-depth usage tutorial can be found in the description below. But right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.